Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing super. Uh, I was here uh, about a week or so ago. I brought you some information for Mr. Franzi. Uh, did he get that then? He did. Okay. He was actually up here yesterday. Oh, okay. But I didn't even think to ask him if it should be going here. Well, yeah, like I said, I've, I just confirmed it with my list that I had. He's the vice president, uh, you know, of the Minnesota Bar Association for the 16th District. So, okay. But anyhow, I just want to give you an update, um, some more information. Um, I don't know if you're aware of uh, Kyle Thompson. He's a city, uh, city councilor that caught a charge here uh, the 1st of January. Okay. Um, what happened? It was on KSAX TV, actually, and um, he's being prosecuted by Neil Nelson, which is a blatant conflict of interest. See, last year, uh, another guy, uh, Michael Moan from Starbuck, he was a counselor from or city councilor from Starbuck. His case was transferred down to Swift County, and uh, Robin Finke handled the case. Now, I just found out from an Ed Peterson, he's the assessor down in Swift County that his case has been transferred to Stevens County, but Neil Nelson is going over there to prosecute him. See? Now, Stevens County just has a brand new county attorney from Walker, Minnesota. I think his name is Aaron Jordan. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, why is Neil Nelson going over to prosecute Ed Peterson for a conflict of interest in Stevens County when he's prosecuting... Kyle Thompson in Pope County when that case should be sent out of the county. Do you see what I'm getting at? Okay. So there's blatant conflict of interest. And something else that I didn't mention, Kyle Thompson was informed of the fact that Neil Nelson was covering up the assault uh, by uh, John Staffschultz's wife, Judge John Staffschultz's wife, against me. See, so there's a vested interest in the case either way. Okay. See, because Kyle knows that Neil Nelson is not prosecuting cases, and as city attorney, because he's at that time he was a city attorney, assistant city attorney. Now he's county attorney and still assistant city attorney. See, so that is he's supposed to pat that information off so it can be prosecuted, and if nothing else, sent out of the county so it can be prosecuted. Mm -hmm. See, but none of this happens. And I gave you information how I filed cases and they just disappeared into nothingness. When the county attorney is supposed to send you a letter saying that they're not going to pick up the charges, you know, I've never received anything like that from Neil Nelson's office or the former Pope County attorney's office. Okay. But I have received letters from another county attorney stating that specifically. We are not picking up the charges. See, so I know that they have to notify you, and I gave you the, the statute that says that it's against the law for a county attorney not to pick up, investigate or prosecute a, a legitimate case in Minnesota. So anyhow, and this Ed Peterson, you know, why is he being prosecuted by Neil Nelson? Ed Peterson has clear, precise, and unquestionable evidence that another man, John Besser, had his house stolen from him without proper paperwork. He was at the hearing, he was listening in, and the sheriff told him to get out of there because the, the guy in there was dangerous. Well, he's dangerous because he has evidence that the sheriff is involved in criminal activity. He has evidence that Judge Menace is involved in criminal activity. See? Oh, and speaking of that, I, uh, about Judge uh, Staffschultz's criminal activity, I told you about how he, falsif he signed a, fra a fraudulent document with perjured testimony in it, right? Yeah. All right? Yeah. Well, anyhow, I called down to Timothy Osby. I don't know if you know who he is at all. He's the district court administrator for the 7th and 8th Judicial, judicial District. And I told him the exact same thing I told you. And I asked him, are you going to report this to the FBI, the BCA, the Attorney General's office? He said, nope. And I'm going, oh, I, that's exactly what I wanted to hear you say. <laughs> so anyhow, I called down to the Supreme Court and I talked to uh, the, the secretary for the, the Chief Justice. I don't remember what her name is. I can't even pronounce it to start with. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, they transferred me over to this other lady, Arita Coyles de Mules. She is now the commissioner of the Supreme Court, all right? And she was a former assistant attorney general, so I reported the same thing to her. Well, her suggestion to me, because I asked her, is she going to contact the FBI, the BCA, whatever? Well, you can contact the FBI. Oh, if I can contact the FBI, but you aren't? See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, so it's, it's a massive cover-up from the very top to the very bottom. So, I mean, there's no way you can trust these courts or, you know, the... 
the sheriff in Pope County or the county attorney in Pope County. I mean, it's just a lawless, lawless county, you know. And you have a whole bunch of crooks covering it up from the very top. See, so I, I just wanted to give you this information. It's all on here. Thank you for your time. Yep, bye.